Oh, hey there. I was just working on some project documentation. My name is John Broadwell, and I'm the creator of the Serial Wombat 18AB open source firmware project that I'm asking you to back today on Kickstarter. In short, the project is firmware that runs on a microcontroller. You attach that microcontroller to an Arduino or PC or Raspberry Pi or anything with an I2C or UART interface, and it helps you out in much the same way that many other I squared C2 display or PWM or servo or A to D converters do, except this particular chip does all of those things. And it does it all at the same time on 18 different IO pins. Each pin runs its own one millisecond state machine. So a thousand Hertz to do anything that you want. You can debounce buttons, you can run servos, you can create PWMs, you can do capacitive touch, you can read ultrasonic distance sensors. All of those things are possible all at the same time. It all happens over a I squared C interface. In front of that is an Arduino library that, in, that creates a lot of the interfaces that you already know and like and are similar to other I squared C or inherent Arduino interfaces. What this means is that you can easily do a lot of hard real-time embedded type tasks on your Arduino all at the same time. Well, the sketch that you write is busy working on high level logic. So there's no more worries about integrating multiple different libraries that may use interrupts or may not, and that might not be portable, say from your Arduino Uno to your Cduino Shao to your ESP8266 based. Because you're using the same chip across all of your projects, you essentially have a set of hardware registers that will work on any of your projects and be portable from place to place. You can even take the circuitry that you build that you interface to your Arduino or Raspberry Pi, hook it up via UART and control it from your PC. So it's a great way to make your sketches more portable, easier and more fun. It's upgradable over time. You can upgrade it in circuit via, via I squared C or UART through its bootloader. And with this particular project, we're going to be shipping a dip chip that plugs easily into a breadboard. But along with that, there'll also be a PCB that you can solder together if you want to make it look more like a traditional Arduino based board. And to be clear, it's not an Arduino. You don't load code on it. I load the code on it and then you just command it in real time. I've been working on this particular project for almost three years now. There's dozens of different pin mode state machines, each of which is very carefully tested. I have automated unit test software. I've created my own automated testing uh, PCBs. 
I hope that you'll find that among open source projects, this one is particularly professionally finished, both in terms of the thoughtfulness of the interfaces, the unit testing, the quality of the software, and perhaps most importantly, the quality of the documentation. There are dozens of tutorial videos on YouTube related to this project. And if you go to the Serial Wombat GitHub IO page, you'll find that the project is incredibly well documented throughout its source code, that then we use the Doxygen source code generator to create very clear APIs, which should be very easy to follow. So this is a professionally engineered project, and I'm hoping that you'll help me take it across the finish line. Uh, as you know, there's a microcontroller shortage right now. Uh, I decided to do Kickstarter so that I could get enough funds on the front end to buy enough microcontrollers all at one time to make sure that we could build a community and make this project successful. I've already launched the Serial Wombat 4B project. You can get those chips on Amazon. That was kind of a get me started, understand the problem. And this is really the product that I've always wanted to make. Something that really, really is spectacular and that I think has the potential to transform the entire single board Arduino uh, hobbyist ecosystem. And I really hope that you'll help me make that happen. I hope you enjoyed the little promotional bit I did at the beginning of this video. And I hope that today you'll consider backing this Kickstarter project.